communicate with the mobile internet. Um, I won't try to be um, password protected, isn't it? Um, just need to think of that. Um, I won't try to be ahead of the technology curve, right? You guys, you guys know about the technology curve. I always try to be at the top of that. And that's why in the late noughties, uh, I developed the Platypus <laughs> handheld mobile device. Um, me and my web guy, Philip, we saw your apples, your blackberries, dividing up the mobile web of us. Okay? And we saw a gap. Not a big gap. Yeah, you had to look real hard to find it. But it was there. And we squeezed in. Okay? And that's why we worked together, me and Philip, my web guy, and we developed the Platypus handheld mobile device, the first mobile device specifically tailored to the Warwickshire area. <laughs> and it was a beauty. It was a total beauty. It was a little bit slimline, about the size of a Polaroid camera. And you could easily fit it into a rucksack, a handbag for most gym lockers in the, in the, in the and yeah, it was it was great. It was specifically designed so you could download emails from any account in the world and it was thanks to a deal we had with Warwickshire Council, you knew about upcoming cultural events and bin collection times. <laughs> that was really, really tailored. Um, obviously we call it the platypus, the platypus being the only, one of the only mammals with non-visible ears. So we, at the time, at the time it sounded like a good idea, but in hindsight, I'm not entirely sure why I put my full weight behind that, but, uh, you know, in the helter-skelter vibe of uh, IT entrepreneurship, you know, that kind of vibe gets all up in your head and things move faster than you like. Okay, you guys know this, making your soft wires. <laughs> so, uh, that's still loading any, any minute now. Um, sales didn't go well, if I'm honest. Um, and by the time we'd upgraded to the Plat 5 and Plat Max, um, we were pretty much insolvent. And uh, I think you can still buy them in Philips. Uh, House. <laughs> I think he's got a few nothing about in the attic. Um, so let's just oh, let's just try and see if we can get this password working. Um, I mean, for me, the internet probably the second most important innovation of the last decade, I'd say. The first, the first being the uh, Panini machine. <laughs> because you know, since um, I mean, before you had the old uh, panini machine, you know, your lunch, your lunch and dinner, it was a mess of time-consuming variables. Am I, am I right? You know, your, your chickens, your meats, your veg, okay, your beans. Now I know that I'm never more than four minutes away from any hot sandwich. <laughs> Uh, but I mean, technology and me could go hand in hand, not just not just business wise, but also play wise. Okay, I'm talking about your love films. Yeah, you guys know that. Yeah, you get the. Uh, I don't know. If, just to explain, if you order a Hollywood movie from them, you tell them the kind of Hollywood movies that you like. They send them pretty much straight away, and you get them. You watch them. Sure, it's a bit of a trip to send them back to the depot. Yeah, it's it's about a ninety minute trip in the car, but, you know, I'm willing, I'm willing to go with that, I'm willing to go with that. Similarly, I've just got into online poker, um, not, a, not a player myself, but, uh, you know, it's a great spectator sport, I go in there, I follow every hand, but it's great to see the pros, you know, doing their thing. You, you pay $50 for entry, but, you know, that's just like paying for any ticket to any good spectator sport. So the internet and me, you know, we really, we really go hand in hand. This isn't working, so um, I'm really sorry guys, I, I think I'm probably going to call it a night around about now. Um, for those of you who haven't quite grasped what that final solution is, um, I understand I haven't made it entirely clear. Um, 
if you want to know more, then please get in contact on my e-dress, okay? Get in contact through Twitter, okay? Leave a message on my blog, jeremybeansblogspot.blogspot.com. <laughs> Uh, if you do leave a comment, if you do leave a comment, please do leave a full name, phone number, and postal address so I can get in contact with you uh, and reply to your comment. Otherwise, you know, you're just shouting into the ether. Um, I usually have a guy on a PA, a PA guy who kind of plays some uplifting music after my seminars. Again, Tim, you've let me down. So, uh, I think, ooh, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll have to play it out through this. I just want to give you a kind of an uplifting kind of vibe, just to, uh, you know, get you feeling, leaving it with a bit of zazz. Are you feeling the vibe? <laughs> I've just noticed, sorry, I've got a text from Trudy. Um, <laughs> do any of you know how to delete programs on a Sky Plus box? Because she wants to delete my David Amber stuff to record some nonsense that she wants. But, uh, no? If anyone, I'm going to be at the back there. If anyone wants to know anything more about the solution, the final solution, uh, or you know how to operate a Sky Plus digicoder, then uh, please do find me at the back. I'm going to be here until around about 12. Trudy's got the car, she's got picked from yoga tonight. So uh, please do get in contact. Listen, guys, it's been a total pleasure. Okay, ciao and good evening.